um, main goal of, um, uh, of our project would be establishment of continuous cooperation between the Macedonian Association of Consumers with the German Association of Consumers so that we <coughs> exchange know-how and experience. Indicators uh, for this goal would be a signed memorandum of understanding between the partnering organizations for continuous cooperation. The specific objectives that we have within this project are improvement of the efficiency of the consumer complaint process, also increased awareness of consumer rights. The indicators for these objectives would be um, <coughs> clearly mapped process according to the EU practices, and another indicator, number of delivered uh, round tables where these issues would be discussed and where awareness will be, will be raised. The results that we are expecting from our project is increased awareness of consumer rights uh, among the survey population. Because we are going to do two surveys at the beginning of the project, we are going to encompass a population of about 2,000 uh, consumers. And uh, the indicator for, for this would be an increase in percentage of awareness according to the instrument we are going to develop to measure this uh, <coughs> result. Another result that we expect is an initiated process for amendment of the regulation, which will, would be done through various activities. So the round tables that we plan to take place in 10 different towns throughout Macedonia, uh, where we're going to discuss the current regulation and uh, according to the practices that uh, we are going to get to know what is going on there through a shadowing process of representatives of our, our association in Germany. So they will convey, convey what they have learned there. And uh, then we're going to discuss it on various uh, <coughs> round tables. And then we're going to come to various conclusions of how to make the process of uh, um, the consumers uh, filing a complaint and how they will be resolved. So we will have a draft uh, procedure and we're going to lobby to um, uh, the relevant bodies that this process is uh, amended. So as an indicator, we we'll submitted proposal amendments to the relevant bodies, namely the suitable uh, agency within the Ministry of Justice maybe and other relevant uh, agencies. Another result that we're expecting is professional development of uh, the staff within the Macedonian Association of Consumers, which uh, will be carried out through the two uh, main activities. The first activity would be job shadowing, as I said previously. Uh, two representatives from, from our association are going to go to the German uh, Association of Consumers Headquarters and uh, they will spend there for the two weeks and see how they are working and they will use the opportunity <coughs> to uh, map the process as it is in, in Germany and according to the EU legislation. And then they're going to come back with the um, <coughs> knowledge they have gained and they're going to do dissemination trainings to the colleagues from the association. So um, as an indicator of this activity would be the number of trained employees. Also because um, here we could not present the activities, we will also have activity related to producing various uh, promo uh, promotional materials. We're going to develop a brochure that is going to be um, printed in two languages, in Macedonian and Albanian, and they're going to be distributed during the round tables, and uh, there will be also a closing event uh, where we will present the results, but we will use the opportunity to, to distribute this brochure as well. And uh, also another activity will be a development of um, comparative um, uh, research report from the baseline survey we're going to conduct at the beginning because we're going to repeat it after all the activities uh, and research with, with the project. And we're going to see the differences in the uh, awareness so it will be also presented at the closing event. The budget um, would be about uh, 53,000 euros and we are going to participate to put about 23%. And uh, the headings would be, um, <coughs> our budget would be human resources. So we are going to 
where we have actually calculated the salaries <coughs> of the staff that is going to work um, on this project, that is a project coordinator, project assistant, and a mentor within the German association. And also we calculate here the per diems uh, for uh, the people that are going to the shadowing, and also a representative from the German association that will come to the closing event. Uh, then we have another heading, technical staff, that is going to be involved in the various activities that we will uh, conduct. That would be moderators for the round tables, translators, interpreters, accountant, surveyors, and also an auditor for the end of the project. Then we are calculating in another uh, heading called events. We're going to calculate the costs about um, the round tables, the venue, the refreshment for participants, etc. Also, another heading for the trainings where we will calculate costs about the shadowing process and the uh, dissemination of, the, of knowledge. Another heading will be travel costs where we will calculate costs related to participants coming to the training, participants coming to the closing event and the traveling costs for the shadowing and also for the uh, mentor coming from Germany to Macedonia. And finally, the operational costs for, um, for the uh, Office <coughs> of um, the Macedonian Association of Consumers we will calculate the regular items like the rent, the electricity, heating, communication costs, vehicle, and uh, the consumables <coughs> for the office. question or something that wants to clarify <laughs> or any comments okay you will do it later when you will modif uh, justify your uh, mark uh, I have maybe a couple of comments or questions that actually I think I wanted to to ask you I think you mentioned in the um, among the results, you mentioned the professional development. Yes. This is correct? Yes. So I actually think that professional development is more, it's difficult to, to, to make it concrete. So my, my suggestion would be related to uh, professional development would be maybe um, as a result to use uh, professional learning statement or something like that that everyone can write down and uh, uh, before uh, before going on exchange let's say on a study visit and then they will come when they will come back they will formalize the professional development learning to briefing yeah exactly so this sort of a statement of what they have done and what they have achieved and this kind of thing um, and then I, thi I think it was very good that you actually also went through uh, the, act the, the name of the project. You also were, went through some, some of the activities, which is normal and, of course, understandable. And, um, and also regarding, for example, um, The indicator that you mentioned related to the general objective, um, you mentioned assigned MAU, yes. is this correct? Yes. But maybe the assigned MAU would be more like a source of information where you can take um, uh, all the information regarding the improvement. So I think that the indicator would be more related to, I don't know, a rise in the percentage of uh, uh, partnership of cooperation with, uh, with the German association or something number like that. Joint activities. Maybe. And, and a rise in the number of joint activities, something like that. Does it make sense? Okay. And... Um, And also I think that, um, yeah, I will go also with your colleagues through the project. So maybe you can actually leave the room for uh, like five minutes or so, so they can discuss which by group, 
what, what's the mark that they would uh, give you. They will try to, to pretend to be the European Commission, mm. and uh, they will have to evaluate your project. <laughs>